Hi, and welcome to Hydros. Are you experiencing issues with the zero to 10 volt input, such as a button box or another controller? Today, I'll show you a quick and easy way to turn your Hydros into a basic voltmeter and verify that your third party device is sending the correct voltage. Before we get started, you can temporarily change an existing zero to 10 volt input into diagnostic. If you're creating a new input, then from the status screen, tap on the three horizontal dots to the right of the input label. Select Add New Input. Tap on the plus symbol at the bottom right of the page. Enter the name you wish to assign to your input and tap on Create. Under Type, select 0 to 10 volt input. Under 0 to 10 volt input mode, select Analog. Again, if you already have an input with a different mode, you can temporarily change the value and revert later. Under 0 to 10 volt input port, select the 0 to 10 volt channel you're looking to test. Black channel is 1, brown is input 2, red is input 3, and orange is 0 to 10 volt input 4. For scale factor, set this to 1. Set the offset to 0. Set data type to generic. Once you have configured the input, tap on the yellow bar at the bottom of the screen to upload your changes to the cloud and the individual Hydros devices. Go into the status screen and locate your new input. It'll display the voltage, which should be the same as the voltage output from the device sending the signal. For example, if you set your third party controller to send out two volts, the input on the status screen should also read 2 volts or at least very close to it. If it does not, check the physical connections. If you continue to have issues, contact the manufacturer of your third party device. The same applies to a 0 to 10 volt float switch or a door sensor. Say you have a door sensor that only shows one status regardless of the door being open or closed. Turning the sensor into a diagnostic will allow you to see the voltages when close and when open. You can revert the sensor to a switch and adjust the voltage range so one of the voltages, usually the lower one, does not fall inside the range.